White Tie, the creator of the Reaper theme, has just released a script that's making customization a whole lot easier. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know, I desperately need a haircut, but it is what it is. This is the theme assembler script, and this is on the official Reaper forum, and I will have a link to this in the description of the video. So a while ago, White Tie released what he called the Default 6 Modder Supplies, and this was a collection of images to allow you to customize the look of Reaper 6 uh, with the default theme. Different image files for the entire theme, from meters to record arm buttons, variations of the default six theme. They all work together. You can mix and match and customize, but it was a lot of separate image files and a lot of work to kind of get that working. What he's done now with this script is that same collection of assets and a script to allow you to instantly jump between different styles uh, without touching the image files themselves, without having to do any code, without having to unpack themes and resave them and things like that. You can just take the default six theme and then try out different image files and it creates a new theme automatically saved for you. Really, really cool. All right, so if you scroll down past the embedded images here, you'll find instructions and then download this. This is the download link. There's some instructions for it, but we're gonna go through that right now. I've downloaded that file to my downloads folder and I will extract this here. Inside here, we've got the themeassembler.lua and theme assembler, uh, basically all the image files. So if we look at transport stop, here are all the different image files. Three sizes for each. And then depending on which asset we're looking at, there's there's a ton of different styles for different things. We don't actually need to touch these. We just need to copy them to their correct place. I'm gonna take both of these. I'm gonna press Command C to copy. And then we're going to Reaper, go to the options menu, show Reaper resource path in Explorer slash finder. And this is the same process for Mac and Windows. We're gonna find the scripts folder, double click to get in there. And we're just going to paste. So that's a Command V, on Mac or Control V on Windows. Now we're gonna open up the action list, actions menu, show action list. And now we're going to new action, load rescript. We're gonna find that theme assembler.lua. Should be right at the top if you sort by date modified. And click on open. Theme assembler.lua is highlighted in there and we can click on run. Now the first time it asked do we want to create the assembled theme? And if we click yes or okay here, that's going to switch our theme from default six to assembled, uh, to assembled theme, which is what this script creates. It's going to bring up this UI for the, um, the theme assembler. So within this window here, it's going to scale to 100%, but we can also draw this at 150 or 200%, which gives us a nice big preview of what things are, even if they're not exactly what they will be uh, when we're using our theme. And we can also resize this window, uh, and it, depending on the width, it's going to kind of flow things a little bit differently. All right, so right now, nothing is selected, but we can click on any of these image elements here, theme elements, and the bottom section will be filled with our options. So let's just start with the transport play button. Click on that and then shows up with all the different options here and the different states. I believe the alloy option is the default. We can set this to soft and that just kind of takes away the highlight. We can uh, go with dark flat. And you can see here, it instantly changes inside of the theme assembler UI as well as in the actual theme. So we didn't have to touch any image files, rename things, move them out of the folder, put in a new, new file. It's all done within the script. It's amazing. So that was the play button. Go to the record button. We have different options here. Let's do dark flat. I'm liking the look of that one. Dark rounded. 
Actually, I think that works a little bit better with the play button style. So let's do a dark rounded for all of these. And when the repeat is on, let's do the bordered. And we also have changes for the track control panel. So let's make this a little bit bigger here. And so this section in red is our track control panel. We can choose different icons for different states, right? So we have when record arm is on, we've got, let's record arm it. And so we've got these different icons. Just add in another track when it's off. We've got alloy, soft, rounded, dark rounded, gray. And then um, we can have a shadow for that or not. For volume, a ton of different options here. 10 different options for the volume knob base, and then another 12 for the pointer. So let's take dark flat plus uh, segment, and that's cool. Or we could do arc. I really like that one. Actually, let's do the flat post with arc. I think that looks great. And I'll just change this layout to 200%. So we can see this nice and big. There we go. Really nice uh, UI design. That instantly kind of modernizes things, makes it a little futuristic maybe. All right, so I could play with this all day, but let's move on to the next important thing. What does this actually create? So we're gonna go to that Reaper resources folder. We're gonna come up a level. So we're no longer in the scripts folder. We're gonna go to the color themes folder. And in here we have assembled theme, uh, Reaper theme file. This is an unpacked Reaper theme. And there's the resources folder, which automatically gets filled up with all the image files that are used based on our selections in the theme assembler script. And it automatically does the 100%, 150%, 200% and 200% image files, which is normally a three-step process. Really excellent. And I should also mention that this doesn't completely take away from all the existing Reaper theme editing stuff that you might want to do. The default six theme adjuster script is still useful here. It doesn't, this, um, the theme assembler doesn't take away from the functions of this. We can still use this for setting up our different layouts. So we can set this to um, hide the track volume if the mixer is visible. And you can see that working there, that sort of thing. This is still useful. We've covered this in other videos. And then the other thing is the theme tweak, the theme tweak configuration window. All the settings in here are still functional with this theme assembled theme, <laughs> the assembled theme. And if we make changes here and want to keep those into a new file, we go to save theme. We can give it a name, but we can also just overwrite the assembled theme and continue using it this way. If we're gonna change the name or put it into a different folder or anything like that, we need to make sure that the image theme, uh, the theme resource path is correct, which should be the assembled theme resources. If we make any changes here, any of the colors and, and fonts available to change here, we just need to save that into the theme, just so we don't lose the settings if we switch themes. Huge thanks to White Tie for making this awesome feature for not just the theming community, but this is something that pretty much any user can get started with and make tweaks to the theme without worrying about code. And that's fantastic. I'd love to see that. Just an amazing amount of work that went into this. I would love to see this taken even further and being able to change the order of the buttons on the tracks, in the mixer, in the transport bar. Uh, that's something that's pretty difficult to do within, the, um, within a text editor to manage all of the different elements and make sure that they flow together correctly. And if you don't know what I mean, that's just, the way that if the track is wide, all these buttons go in an, a certain order, and some of them always stay on, a, on separate lines. There's a lot of themes that I like that just don't work at my preferred kind of width. 
maybe the volume goes down here or the pan and width controls are just kind of hidden all the time in, in my normal kind of default medium track height. Uh, and it m makes it so that I can't really use that theme effectively. If there was just a way that we could change the flow really quickly and resave it without having to go in, copy and paste, and, and it's just such a pain to do that. I'm a huge fan of this script. I love the all the different image options that he's added in here and how easy it is for even a new user to get started with tweaking the theme. So that's where I'm gonna leave this video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to White Tie for creating this script and creating the theme and making it easier for us to adapt with this new theme assembler script. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.